What's happening guys, welcome back to another video. It's been a couple of weeks since you've seen me last and today I've got something cool to talk about. Before that, I did go to Taupo and do my wedding workshop down there which really took off, it was really, really fun. And before I went, I went to Auckland Camera Center and I picked up the Sony G Master 24mm 1.4 lens. So I shot pretty much the whole day with that on the workshop. I shot all the couple with that and uh, it's just been amazing. Um, long story short, I'm blown away by it. So let's just jump straight into build quality. First off, it looks pretty much like a baby 85mm 1.4 G Master. It looks really, really similar. It just is smaller. So it still has the aperture dial. It still has the option to click or de-click it and it has the function button on the side there so you can program that to like eye focus or anything like that as well as the AF MF switch um, it does have the weather sealing gasket on the rear which is a huge plus for me and it's a 67 mil filter thread it's nice small filters cheaper than the 77 mil ones and I'll tell you what this lens is super lightweight so as most of you guys know I had the Zeiss Batiste 25 mil f2 which I actually traded in for this one and I'm really stoked I did that. The Zeiss Batiste is a really amazing lens, but you can watch my review on that. It does have wicked bad chromatic aberration. And uh, you know, it's F2, whereas I really like 1.4. And before you comment, I do shoot at 1.4 pretty much all day. Check out these sample images as well. I'm going through. These were all shot at 1.4 unless stated otherwise. Sharpness wise is great. It's really, really sharp wide open. Um, I shot a wedding with it. I shot um, down in Talpo with the workshop and I just have been blown away. Like I said, at 1.4 it's really, really sharp. When you stop it down, it just gets sharper and sharper towards the edges, and corner sharpness is great. So yeah, really impressed. It does have less chromatic aberration than the Batiste 25 mil. Still has a little bit, but it's pretty well controlled and definitely, you know, better than the Batiste is good enough for me. Focus wise, um, photo focus is really, really snappy, super fast. Video focus seems really nice. I haven't done a whole lot of video with it yet, but the clips I've taken around home and down in the workshop seem to be, you know, the focus was really amazing. Colors are really punchy. That was one thing with the Zeiss lens is that the colors were really, really punchy and it was quite contrasty. I've also noticed it with this one, so I'm really stoked that I haven't really lost that effect. So in short, I'd really recommend this lens, even if you're doing weddings, portraits, landscape, astrophotography, anything like that. It just is a really, really awesome lens. It's quite small, it's really lightweight, and uh, the price isn't too bad. So it's $2,600 New Zealand. Uh, I'm not sure what it is in America, but it's cheaper than what I thought it would be. As soon as they released it, I kind of thought it would be maybe like three and a half thousand to 4,000 New Zealand dollars. Um, seeing as the G Master lenses are quite expensive usually. So that's just my really quick first review on this lens. I've only had it for like a week and a bit, but once I've done some thorough testing with it, I'm gonna do some video testing. I'm gonna put it head to head against the Batiste 25mm and the Sigma 24mm, and uh, we'll do some sample shots and things like that, compare them, compare the video focus. But I'll tell you what, 2,600 bucks New Zealand, I would just go for it. It's such a great lens and I'm really, really happy with it. Anyway, I'll see you guys in a few days with my next video. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to my channel. If there's any videos you guys want to see, comment below and I'll put them all on my list of things to do. Otherwise, I'll see you guys in a few days.